Hello, and welcome to the Blockonomics Bitcoin News Bite, where you can get a roundup of this week's utterly fascinating Bitcoin, crypto, and blockchain news. There are some really interesting stories this week, so let's get started. First off, a fun bit of NFT news. White Castle, the fast food burger chain, has registered a domain name with the Ethereum blockchain. The domain, whitecastleofficial.eth, allows people to link wallets and other Web3 info on the blockchain. They tweeted this news to the delight of many in the crypto sphere. Does this mean that White Castle NFTs are on the horizon? I certainly hope so. I'd love one, an NFT of one of those great slayers. And another study by Anderson Horowitz and Morning Consult paints a very interesting picture of the average American crypto user. Although the stereotype might be of a white libertarian owner, in actuality, blacks and Hispanics are far more likely to own crypto. Additionally, 61% said they voted for Biden for president in 2020, while 32% voted for Trump. This certainly should cause some people to think twice about their stereotyping, although one thing still holds true. The majority of, of holders are millennials. In international news, Kazakhstan has done a complete reversal of their opening up to Bitcoin miners. In the aftermath of China's crackdown, Kazakhstan hoped to convince many miners to come to their country instead, offering business incentives. However, following electricity shortages in October, the government has now changed their mind. The government has been blaming the miners as the scapegoat for the shortages and are now forcing many to shut down. And Turkey, with its high inflation, seems to be like it would be a strong market for Bitcoin. But instead, citizens seem to be flocking to other cryptos. Tether, a stablecoin, and Shibu Inu, a meme altcoin, both saw much higher trading in the country over Bitcoin. Local investors say this is because the cost of Bitcoin is so high. Many prefer buying coins that are much cheaper. The stability of Tether is also a factor. Thanks for tuning in to the Blockonomics Bitcoin News Bite, where you can get your weekly roundup of great crypto news in an easy to digest format. See you next time, and remember, keep on stacking those sats.